Hello, we are presenting on a scalably, minimally actuated leg extension bipedal walker based on 3D passive dynamic. Passive dynamic walkers are machines that with curved legs could walk down a lightly sloped ramp just with gravity and are oftentimes small. Researchers have made larger bipedal walkers inspired by these small passive walkers by adding a little actuation to the robots. This actuation allows the robot to walk on flat surfaces. We want to investigate a self-contained quasi-passive bipeds that are small, like the original passive walking toys. The robot we're presenting has an easily scalable design from its mechanical and electrical components to its simple actuation and control scheme. In our investigations, we used simulation and experiment to seek first, robot designs and actuation parameters that produce open-loop stable walking, and second, steering control using only the two leg actuators. We analyzed the motion with two planar models, fore-aft leg swing sagittally and side-to-side -side rocking frontally. We found several parameters to be important. A center of gravity below the radius of the hemispherical feet keeps the robot statically stable in its standing posture. Placement of the hip axis ahead of the CG when standing produces forwards walking. In the frontal plane, we examined how foot shape affects rocking stability. In particular, a gap between the feet can be produced by displacing either the centers of the feet or the edges. This gave us three designs to test. The first has almost no gap. The second displaces the edges by 0.9 centimeters. The third displaces the centers by 0.9 centimeters. Note that the concentric gap's feet are not tangent to the ground when upright. We explored extension and retraction actuation parameters in simulation and experiment, varying both the frequency and the amplitude. Note that the peak velocity is limited by the platform servos. We tested all three feet geometries at different frequencies and amplitudes in simulation and physical experiment. We categorized walking as consistent, inconsistent, and leaning. This is an example of consistent walking in which the walker was able to establish a steady state gait both in simulation and experiment. This is an example of inconsistent walking in which the walker is not able to establish a steady state gait both in simulation and experiment. This is an example of leaning walking in which the walker is able to establish a steady state gait but is leaning towards one side both in simulation and experiment. These are the results of simulation and physical testing for all three configurations. We notice that non-concentric gap feet are the most consistent, which is unique as most passive walkers use concentric feet. We will also note that simulation and experimental results match the best in this case. Concentric feet were worse, however, we will note that our simulation and experimental data have mismatched points, which could highlight the effect of 3D coupling that are not captured in our 2D simulations. We also notice a relationship between the frequency and forward walking speed. There is a peak in the speed at 1.5 Hz both in simulation on the left and experiment on the right. After that, as the frequency increases, the speed decreases, both in simulation and experiment. Finally, we are interested in being able to turn our robot without any feedback control in a single actuator per leg. By using an actuator phase offset and a foot dragging technique where one actuator is turned off, we are able to achieve both shallow and sharp turns. To change the direction of the turn, we would simply just switch the controls of the actuators. Here is an example of a shallow left turn, which we accomplished with a simple phase offset. Here is an example of a sharp left turn, in which we turn one of the actuators off. In conclusion, we developed a novel under-actuated quasi-passive walker that is open-loop and has a single actuator leg. We showed, both in simulation and experiment, that our walking model is robust. We found that non-concentric spherical foot geometry was the most consistent and that higher extension frequencies yield a slower walk. Finally, we showed that we can turn the walker without any feedback control or additional actuation. In future work, we would like to scale down the walker to smaller scales and investigate other actuation schemes such as hip actuation.